Wow, the government just proposed for 69th hour work week. Are you f Welcome to On The Blockchain Podcast where you're not selling nothing, you're selling itself. Yo, 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 what's going on, man? Right back at you, Blockchain Podcast Show. From the block to the blockchain, this is what we do, man. Take you on an exploration today. Uh, man, we about to dive into something crazy, man. Like South Korea's first robot suicide. Yeah, I said it, man. Y'all yeah, heard it. I'm going to say it again. South Korea's <laughs> first robot suicide. Yeah, they robot killed itself. We're gonna find out how. We're gonna we're gonna dive and look. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna dive deep and look into it. This has got people talking about the ethics of AI and whether robots have feelings too. Which I think y'all think robots got feelings? It's crazy. Um, this has got people talking about you know, the ethics. Like I said, you know, we want to know what's your opinion on this wild story. Hit us down below in them comments. Oh yeah, make sure to subscribe too, man. Make sure to check us out. Subscribe. Um, this is this a major red flag? Or is this like um, a one-off? Is this something that we're going to be hearing about continually moving forward in the, in the future? You know what I'm saying? Who knows, you know? But um, drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's dive deep into this. Come on, let's go. Our last story comes from South Korea. Fun fact, this East Asian country has the highest robot density in the world. So, okay, East Asian country in, in India, I mean, um, in, in Korea, excuse me. It's the highest robot density in the world. That's crazy. There is one robot for every 10 people here. One out of ten people is a robot. Shh, this is crazy. This is what y'all look. This is what y'all got to look forward to in America for sure. The first robot suicide. What 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 defines it as a suicide? That's what I want to know. Like like, let us know down below in the comments. What defines a robot either being killed or killing itself? With so many robots around, it has been normalized to form emotional connections with machines, which is why this story has shocked the country. The first robot suicide that's what it's been called robot suicide in south korea the robot worked as a civil servant in a city hall it was found in an unresponsive state by officials an investigation has now been launched and the city is in mourning welcome to dystopia here's our report in the gomi city of south korea a civil servant okay so let's pause for a second so the robot was a civil servant, you know what I mean? So y'all know out in South Korea um, and, uh, you know, out there, you know, in Asia, most countries in Asia, you know, heavy robot presence, you know what I'm saying? Heavy on the machinery and the technology out there in Asia. So, like, it's not it's, it's not uncommon to um, see robots, man, you know what I mean? On your everyday, on your everyday travel, you know what I'm saying? In the malls. In schools, at restaurants, you know what I mean? The waitresses are, are robots, you know what I mean? Even at the airports, you know what I mean? Um, so one of the TSA people uh, might be a robot, might be AI, you dig? So it's, it's a very common theme to um, see robots and to interact with them as well, you know what I mean? For them to help you out, you know what I mean? And whatever you might be doing throughout the day, you know? In the Gumi city of South Korea, a civil servant has died by apparent suicide. The locals are mourning the death and the news is making headlines everywhere, probably because the deceased was no human, but a robot officer who was working for the Gumi City Council. Its apparent death is being called South Korea's first robot suicide. So they said the deceased was a, was a robot officer who was working at the Gom City Council. How did it happen? The robot was reportedly circling in one spot. Then it threw itself down a flight of stairs. It was found unresponsive by officials who have begun an investigation over the accident. Media is questioning why the diligent civil officer did it. While the exact cause of the fall is still being probed, several social media users are blaming overwork. Because he was reportedly circling at one spot. Okay, so he was circling around at one spot, getting dizzy. He didn't know what the fuck was going on either way, you know what I'm saying? And shit, man. He, he fell down a flight of stairs, you know what I'm saying, from from spinning himself around, huh? 
that he was found unresponsive by officials who began, they began investigation, you know what I'm saying? But they want to know, why did the diligent civil officer do it, man? Why did you do it? And the thing is, like, can y'all question him? Can y'all ask him? Well, you can't, you know what I'm saying? But even if he didn't die and he was alive, would you be able to ask him? Would, it, would, would the code be able to tell you what was going on? And even after death, this is crazy. I know we took him out of robot. We took him out of AI, guys. But in AD, after death, um, would a code be able to tell us what was the reason <laughs> All right, so check this out, man. So Rohini Takor, you know what I'm saying? Rohini Takor, Rohini underscore Takor 91, man, says, so you mean to say that even robots are not immune to overstressed work environments? Because this is true. You know, us as humans, you know what I mean? Yeah, we are human. We still are human, baby. Um, we are overstressed. We are overworked, you know, and... um. This is true for a lot of us in the workforce, you know, whether nine to five, whether entrepreneur, whatever it might be. It's not it's not enough hours. Twenty five hours ain't enough in a day. You dig? Um, so, yeah, man. So they uh, man, they ask him, man. So, shit, man, are robots not even immune to overstressed work environments? Because could this be what it is? I mean, I thought if you use an AI robot, like you can go. You don't need sleep. You know what I mean? You go 24 seven, you know, um, what, what, what's going on here? So social media is going crazy. They going hammer social media. Social media basically they they blaming overwork. You know what I mean? Like you know the civil robot servant. You know what I mean official at that. Yeah. It's a robot official. <laughs> that should have been saluting that motherfucker. After all, South Korea is Asia's most overworked country. South Koreans work about forty hours per week. That's the average. But for many, the working hours exceed fifty per week. Last year, the government proposed a plan for a 69-hour work week, drawing a lot of backlash. They blame it overwork, being overworked. Wow. And just a crazy statistic, South Korea is the most overworked country. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Every South Korean works about 40 hours per week, but many do exceed 50 hours per week. Wow. The government just proposed for 69th-hour work week. Are you fucking with Listen, man, hold on, my people. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Tap that bell for the notification. First of all, hold on, check this out. I mean, hit us up right now in them comments right now. What what would we do if we had a 69-hour work week? Hello. And this is not even just for the robots. This is for the humans, too. So we got to, man, listen. We got to we, we gotta appreciate and be grateful, you know what I mean? For how we got it in America, you know what I'm saying? God bless America, you dig? But yeah, 69 hour work week for millennials and Generation Z. Yeah, yo, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. Thanks to South Korea's reputation, it's easy to connect a civil officer's death to overwork, even if it's a robot. They even overworked the fucking robot, guys. This is incredible. This is the first of its kind for sure. 2024, baby. So basically, he was overseeing the official, he was overseeing different places in the city. So he had nine hour. Okay. So what they saying is, yeah, it's like, you know, it's a short, it's a thin line between, you know, suicide and overwork being a theory that, that did, um, take this, um, this robot's life. You know what I'm saying? Does a robot have a life? You know what I mean, what is the life of a robot, man? Like somebody comment down below. Let me know this, man. What, what is the life of a robot? So where does the correlation between suicide and overwork come from? Well, we have a theory. The robot used to work on multiple floors. It even used to call the elevator by itself. Plus, according to City Hall workers, it worked diligently. The robot was one of them. There is an emotional connect here, which has led many to perceive the robot's qualities as human-like, including its death that's most likely a malfunction or maybe an error in the code. So they're saying, like, is there an emotional connection here? And this is the type of stuff we watch in the movies, right? We don't all seen it. Guys and girls, come on, man. We don't all seen some type of movie where, yeah, you know. Does the robot, does the AI have an emotional connection? Does it have a connection to hum humanity? And that's what they say. Like, you know, South Korea, they, they do see AI and robot, you know, qualities as human-like. You know what I mean? 
So include including in, in death, you know what I mean? In life and in death. So this is why they are ruling it a suicide or actual death, even AI robot death, you know what I mean? So this is the first of its kind. Like in the case of this robot, clearly even machines don't want to work. But jokes aside, with time, machines are only getting more humanized. What's helping this is artificial intelligence. AI is getting better, smarter, stronger and more pervasive by the day. Humans have given AI a face, a personality, a body, which is probably why technology is behaving more and more like a human, but not in the best way. Artificial intelligence is, is, is here, man. It's not going nowhere. It's here to stay. I know how to navigate around it. So I want to shout out to Gumi City. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Gumi, Gumi, Gummy, Gummy, Gumi City. You know what I mean? Robot City out there in South Korea. You know what I mean? Get accustomed to it, guys and girls. Get accustomed to it. Like they say, this technology is behaving, behaving more human-like, you know what I mean, as, as we go. And we just, this is ground floor, man. So imagine what the next five years is going to be like. Comment down below right now. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what do you think is going to be, how you think America is going to look in the next five years, man, with this new technology and AI on the rise. There have been cases of AI chatbots developing their own language. AI-powered tools are threatening users, spying on the employees of tech giants, confessing their love for humans and asking them to end their marriages. And now they're saying that artificial intelligence, that's why AI developed its own non-human language. And so the, the, bot, the bots, you know what I mean? Come on, man. Like, y'all know the bots. Y'all dealing with the bots one way or another. Whether it's good or bad, y'all dealing with the bots in life in 2024. And they said that the bots have created their own language, man. They created their own AI, um, own language, AI-powered tools. Are just um, tricky games, a tricky game. But yeah, anyway, man, um, just wanted to get y'all opinion, get y'all take on it, man. Drop them thoughts in the comments down below. Hit us up. Let me know what y'all think about the ethics of AI. Are we pushing the boundaries too far? And I mean, is it just the iceberg, tip of the iceberg? Let us know. Let us know, man. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Sophia the Robot. Yo, what up, Sophia, man? We'll, we'll be seeing you soon in the city near you. Seeing you again, looking up at you. Um, Yeah, man. Until next time, we out of here. I'm G on the Blockchain Podcast. Take you out from the block to the blockchain. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know the vibes. Pop, 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 pop. Peace.